I think we've seen some rustiness in uh, in our preseason games, and hopefully uh, we've done away with it all then. But even watching games around the league over this first uh, first week, you can still see that there a lot of the other teams still still have some rust there. So um, hopefully, if there is some with the with the cats, we keep it to a minimum and and try to get things running smoothly to start it out. We've kept on our usual schedule. Um, we've been doing that for for quite a while now. Obviously, a, a couple of false starts on uh, our first game of the season and and some cancellation of preseason games. But uh, we've kept the same practice schedule. Um, although now in quarantine, there is a maybe a little more to, time spent at the training court just to get out of the house. Um, obviously, that that's really our only kind of release at the moment apart from home is being on the practice court and and um just seeing the guys so uh but in terms of training we've kept to the to the same schedule and um hopefully we can get underway this sunday i mean you, you can put that uh i guess i guess lack of shooting down to another a number of things but uh i mean Shooters out there know their role and they, they're going to fire them up no matter what. So um, they go in, they miss. You're probably going to see the same thing in the second week. They're going to be shooting the ball and I'm definitely going to have that same mentality. Um, hopefully mine go in come this Sunday and, and we get off to a good start. But um, no, I mean, a lot of time spent in the practice gym. Games are spent in the arena, there's depth perception involved with that one. So there's a whole heap of different things as to why the percentages are, could be lower than usual. Practice facilities, you usually got a, a wall 15, 20 metres behind the basket. You go into the, into the arena and, I mean, you got 100, 100 metres up to the, to the back row. So, I mean, it, it does become involved, but... I mean, we've seen the arena um, recently um, having the uh, preseason game against Illawarra and, and a couple of training sessions before that. So it's not going to be totally new to us. And I mean, we've got guys who have played in there for a number of years now. So, I mean, it, sh it shouldn't be anything different for us. Um, there's going to be a little bit of it. You're just going to have to go out there and see what happens. Obviously, we can do our scouting report. Every team's different from last season. Um, so there's going to be some new things going on out there. So I guess the, the real look we'll get at it during the week is through scouting reports and uh, putting a plan in place and going from there. But um, I imagine these first couple of games um, could be some scrappy contests trying to find your way around. Um, but I, we've got a couple of guys that um, definitely know how to scrap around and, and come up with some loose balls. So that's going to be a, a pretty big focus. Whether it's game one or game 360, uh, I, did, I don't think my role's changing too much. Um, when I get some daylight, I'll let it fly. If not, try and make, a, make some plays for my teammates. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty good feeling to be playing 200 NBL games. A uh, little bit of a break in, in there somewhere over in Europe. But... Um, no, I've, I've played most of those uh, games over here in Perth and um, that's been really exciting over here. My family and I have, have loved it over here. Um, so, yeah, just another game. Um, first game of this season started off on a good note and, um, and we'll go from there. And 3P would be great, but, um, yeah, this is, I guess, a totally new team um, from the last year and even the year before. So, I mean, this, I guess this team's trying to create its own little history amongst this club. Um, and so we've, we've got plenty of things to focus on um, that will, I guess, hopefully go on good stead in getting us uh, back into another final series. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's definitely, it's been a journey for me. Um, going from college up to, starting out in North Queensland uh, for a few years with the teams up there, then over to Europe and then finding my way uh, uh, to the Cats. So, yeah, it, it started with a few DNPs and so far it's gone along with a, a couple of championships. So uh, I definitely tracked in the right direction. At this point in my career, I mean, it's, I mean, you're playing for championships. Um, that's definitely 
one thing I guess that's really been I guess edged into me since arriving in Perth is is guys here they want to win championships the club wants to win championships and uh, if you have to take a backseat role um, along the way and when it's your your time to shine you give it a crack and um, if it leads to a championship then uh, mission accomplished and that's the way they look at things over here so um, not really to looking to change too much um, uh, on my front in terms of my career it's uh, keep competing um, stay healthy um, do what I can for this team and and hopefully uh, we're back playing some finals basketball I heard the exact number on uh, what's going to be allowed I think someone said 50 percent so Whatever that comes to, um, no doubt they're going to be passionate. Um, they're going to be into the game and we've got to give them something to cheer about. So, um, I mean, we've, we play tough-nosed basketball, defensive first, and um, they know what to expect from us. And if we give them that, then they'll get into the game and, and that'll set us off in the right direction. We've been practising now as if nothing's going to change. Uh, we'll try and, I guess, limit, um, I guess, the difference in uh, the amount of defensive pressure and, and the tools that Damo brought to uh, to this Wildcats group over the years he's been here. Um, but rules remain the same. Um, some guys may have to step it up a notch and we all try and cover those areas that, um, that we're going to miss from Damo. Um, but... Um, so far, we're tracking in the right direction in terms of our preseason development. Um, I guess once it, once it comes to the real deal of playing regular season games, um, I guess we're all in the hot seat a bit more in, in trying to get something done on that defensive end. I mean, I guess everyone's kind of gone through the same circumstances right now with, with COVID and preparations being changed and everything. Um, I mean... I guess at this stage, this team's not thinking too much about are we going to make finals or aren't we going to make finals. Well, right now, we're, <laughs> we're trying to get uh, our first game out of the way. Um, and really, I mean, everyone's, everyone can talk about, I guess, it's step by step and all this. There's a process. Uh, but you just got to focus on trying to get this first game done first and, and seeing how this group develops. Um, obviously, with the changes, it's yeah, you may not see the, uh, I guess, the, the regular Wildcats that people are expected to see uh, night in, night out. Um, guys are going to be continually gelling throughout the, throughout the season and um, hopefully come the end of the season, we're playing finals basketball. We've done everything we can to prepare for, for say, the last two minutes of a, of a game five in the finals. Um, they'll have two games under their belt and uh, might be able to find some rhythm there and uh, we'll be able to scout them. Um, I mean, I guess people could say they haven't seen us play yet, but I mean, Australia is a is quite a small league, very well scouted, and I bet you uh, they know what what's going to be coming from in terms of what we run and on offense and defense. So um, yeah, I guess you can look at it both ways, but either way, we'll be ready, and and so will they. Dad would like to take credit for that, but he shot with his left hand. So I mean, I couldn't have taken too many tips from him. Uh, but uh, I mean, I guess a lot of it was developed in the backyard um there was a point when i needed uh to change my shot i guess in high school and um i'll tell you one thing i was very stubborn about it um i mean it was working for me but um having realized that i wanted to make i guess a career out of basketball i'd have to change my shot um just a simple thing is getting a higher release point I mean, when you're a kid, you shoot from in front of your face, you try and heave it up there, and I guess you practice it enough, you become good at it. But, um, yeah, I had to change my shot in high school, and uh, I, that was under uh, Trevor Cook at Anglican Church Grammar School. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I was very stubborn about it. It just wasn't working for me, but um, stuck at it, and uh, it definitely helped me along my way. And ever since then, I've just kept working at it, kept working at it. Um, haven't really changed too much since I was 
15, 16. Um, obviously, you get stronger as, as you get a bit older and you tweak a couple of things. But in the end, it's just repetition after repetition after repetition. It's just muscle memory. I guess you, when the occasional one does the air ball, I guess you just call it machine malfunction. <laughs> <laughs>